Quest to Hal Min Freon and welcome to another video. My friends, I am sure that there are many of my viewers who have been Star Wars fans for a long time, especially then the original trilogy and maybe, such as myself, the prequel trilogy. And of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi is probably the most iconic space opera character in the history of movie making, definitely in my top three Star Wars characters, him, Qui-Gon Jinn and Master Yoda. Now, a lot of people in the world are eagerly anticipating the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show from Disney+. Plus, and a lot of people, such as myself, are absolutely terrified what the result might be. Because we know what's been happening to the entertainment in the last couple of years. We have been observing it all over the place in TV, in films, in literature, in comic books. My channel is full of videos about the upcoming The Rings of Power and how much of an atrocity it is going to be based on everything that has been shown and confirmed. Now, we've got a reported leak from the show. Now, <clears throat> if you believe in leaks and rumors, don't really watch this right now or do watch it. It's a leak, so it's not been confirmed, but there are potential spoilers. And from what we can read in this article, I can say we have been right again, once again. Now, I don't really care about uh, the new uh, Disney content that they are putting out, definitely not Marvel, but Obi-Wan Kenobi is so close to my heart that I had to make a video about that. And of course, what have we been saying? That Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, the character, is of course going to be put into the background. He's going to take the back seat in favor of more new original characters that are more in line with the 2022 way of thinking as far as entertainment goes, inclusion, representation, diversity, yada, 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 not really focusing on good storytelling or being faithful to uh, the already established IP. From what we can read here, thank you, Bounding Into Comics, by the way, once again, well, it seems that they are going to be deconstructing the original trilogy and the prequels once again. Let's dive in. Ending to Obi-Wan Kenobi series reportedly leaks online. It's bad as you expect from Disney Star Wars. Oh, the vile mouse. The ending to the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi series that is expected to arrive on Disney Plus towards the end of June has reportedly leaked. Making Star Wars reveals that in the final episode of the series, Inquisitor Reva, or Reva discovers that Obi-Wan Kenobi is protecting Luke Skywalker on Tatooine. This side reports, by the final chapter, Reva has put the contextual clues together and she figures out that Obi-Wan Kenobi has been protecting something, someone, the son of Skywalker. Uh... In a follow-up article, the site claims that after Obi-Wan Kenobi returns to Tatooine after a duel with Darth Vader of Planet, he discovers Reva at Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru's moisture farm. However, he doesn't engage her in combat. Instead, Reva flashes back to her own childhood and comes to the realization she cannot kill Luke Skywalker. Uh, she then leaves. She then just leaves the farm with Kenobi, coming to the conclusion that she has not been completely corrupted by the dark side of the Force, and we all know why. I shall explain at the end of the article. Another scoop from making Star Wars details that after leaving Tatooine, Reva returns to an underwater fortress on a planet called Nur, where she reports to Darth Vader that she killed Obi-Wan Kenobi. Vader doesn't believe her and kills her. Underwater fortress on a planet called Nur. So Vader doesn't have his castle on Mustafa yet at this point. Back on Tatooine, Luke continues with his life. Leia does the same on Alderaan. As for Obi-Wan Kenobi, he finally makes contact with Qui-Gon Jinn. That's the only sentence that actually excites me. Because I have been waiting for almost 20 bloody years. Almost. Since we got to know that Qui-Gon Jinn became a force ghost and that Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to make contact with him to see it on screen. Now, I, I, I wish Disney didn't hate Star Wars. <laughs> YouTuber Drunk3PO indicated he received similar information. 
he's a big YouTuber on, uh, well, YouTube, uh, a big Star Wars YouTuber. So I think that his sources are very much reliable. He detailed, apparently the series is about Reva. Ah, as expected, my dear friends. But then again, I will comment upon it at the end of the article. So apparently, when Obi-Wan is off-world, she tries to figure out why he's on Tatooine and discovers the truth. She discovers why he's there, who he's watching over. That's right, Luke Skywalker. She discovers that he's watching over Luke Skywalker and then goes to Luke's house and confronts Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru and Luke and gets them all in a corner and gets ready to kill them, he explains. As she gets ready to kill them, she has a moment. <sighs> oh, the virtuous... Well, at the end of the article. She has a moment that's been playing out throughout this whole series where she's like, I can't do this. I just can't do this. She, she remembers her training, I guess. She remembers that she used to be a Jedi. She remembers that all that stuff... And she doesn't kill Luke Skywalker when she had the chance, he relayed. Next, he reveals. Then <clears throat> She then go, uh, goes back to see Lord Vader, and Darth Vader's like, All right was the report and she tells Darth Vader that she has killed Obi-Wan and that it is finally over Darth Vader gets very angry and says no <laughs> no no, no. Uh, I, I couldn't even do it if I couldn't do it I know you didn't do it you're lying off you go and Vader kills Reva <laughs> <laughs> and, that's the, and that's the end of the series. Providing his analysis, Drunk 3 po says, So, it's not Obi-Wan that protected Luke Skywalker. It is the Inquisitor, the star of the show. Hello there, sister. Uh, he reiterates, it's about Reva. She saves Luke Skywalker from death. She covers up his whereabouts and she sacrifices herself. Oh, for the greater good of Star Wars. Uh, Jesus. The YouTuber later adds, let's just throw Kenobi in a series. Exactly. Let's get Revar in there. Let's get, uh, let's let her save Luke because then we can get her and use her in the theme parks and put her on a t-shirt and maybe, maybe do a backstory her, with her on how she turned from a Jedi to an Inquisitor. And she, and then came around at the end. It's the perfect hero journey's arc. And we could use that and put more episodes on Disney Plus, yeah. Or this whole thing is just made up crap, he laughs, which is also possible. What do you make of these alleged leaks? Huh? Do you expect anything less from Disney Star Wars? Well, I always expect less from Disney Star Wars. But I find it very probable and very likely that something like this will happen. Firstly, of course we have to put the white guy in, in the background. Of course we have to put uh, the most iconic science fiction character the samurai monk Obi-Wan Kenobi, the legend, uh, the archetype of the wise old man in, into the background, and prefer our diversity hire, our inquisitor with the uh, SJW haircut. Of course the show is going to be about her. Of course Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to be just very minimally in the show. And, and that would be the lesser of the evils, if he's not turned into a cuck and into a pathetic little uh, nitwit, such as Luke Skywalker was in the Disney trilogy, the sequel trilogy. Of course that she is not going to be the villain, the true villain, because in 2022 you cannot hire a POC female character and make her into a villain. This is absolutely impossible. Have you seen... My friends, let me ask you, have you seen lately in a film, in a book, in a comic book, in a TV show, a POC female character that would be actually, actually the villain? And I'm not talking about being a shade of grey, so no good, no evil. Or, firstly, she looks as if she was a villain, but then she, of course, you know, has the redemption arc and becomes the saviour of the saviour of the universe. Of course they have to do it. And of course they have to undermine the entire great saga. The six Star Wars films made by George Lucas, which are the only ones that exist, and um, make her discover Luke Skywalker. Make her find out, oh my God, Obi-Wan Kenobi has been protecting Luke Skywalker, the son of Skywalker. And of course that... She doesn't tell Vader because she's the virtuous one. 
only, I think, that Darth Vader, one of the most powerful Sith Lords in uh, the history of the Star Wars universe, I think he would be able to get it from her. I think he would be able to torture her so much that she would tell him everything, what she had for dinner last night, what her mother's name was, and who Obi-Wan Kenobi is protecting. But no, she has to be the virtuous one. She has to be the hero of the story. She has to be the protagonist of the show called Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> and uh, be the savior of the universe. And uh, the, the true emperor, the true emperor Palpatine, Kathleen Kennedy, of course, with the other people that are working on it, they have to bring in the, the, the good old true fans of Star Wars, by including Obi-Wan Kenobi, by including Darth Vader, by including Qui-Gon Jinn, and all the little bits and pieces and snippets from the original trilogy and from the prequel trilogy as the nostalgia bringer. I think these rumors, these leaks are very, very possible. And if so, I will be watching this show anyway. I, uh, I, I think I must be a masochist, but I, so far I have been watching, uh, I know, I know, everything by Disney that uh, w w concerned Star Wars. And I liked only The Mandalorian, really. And a bit of pieces from Boba Fett. And this I have to see to confirm my predictions, if they are going to mess up Obi-Wan as much as they messed up uh, Luke Skywalker in the in the, the uh, sequel trilogy, which I can't even bear thinking about. I tried to re-watch uh, the, uh, the Force Awakens a couple of months ago. I could watch... I lasted for 20 minutes. Then I had to turn it off because it's so bad. All right, let me know in the comments down below what you think, and that'll be all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm out of here.